sun had set and we heard the um, sound of a rocket uh, igniting and launching out towards us. Uh, and it was just like a, a surprising kick to the chest. Then I felt myself kind of floating through the air and uh, until I felt myself hit against something that's realized when it was the, the Humvee that I bounced off of. I didn't think that there was anything seriously wrong. Uh, 2007, I deployed again to Iraq, this time to Balad. Uh, one morning I got up out of bed to try to walk across my room to get ready and I just, I hit the floor. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> My problem is, is I have uh, spondylolisthesis, uh, which is a shift of the vertebrae uh, in my lower back. I haven't been able to ride a bike for the longest time, so I can't go ride bike riding with the kids. Um, I can't run around. The hardest thing is when my six-year-old comes <laughs> over to me and asks me to go jump on the trampoline with him, and I have to tell him no. <laughs> okay, yo. Depending on the day, um, it, the pain level is, is different. I, I live with about a level four pain every day, uh, which is, that's my zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It wasn't until the Wounded Warrior program came along and I was actually kind of forced into giving it a try. Uh, you see others fighting through their injuries and, and it was a long time for me to be able to accept going and, and doing those things. But once I did, I realized it was, there was a whole new world of adaptable sports that I could get into. They see something in you and they drive you to do better. And when they see that you have that drive to do better, that's when they realize that you might be what they're looking for to move on to a, a competitive level in the program and compete in the Warrior Games. It's giving us that, uh, that feeling, especially me, that drive to be able to, to win, to, to get back on my feet. We got folks that are missing limbs, that are down on the court competing, and they're doing better than I am. And it, it's, it's that, it's their story that inspires me. But it's not just winning. It's the camaraderie. Uh, even though we're competing against each other, the sister services, uh, our foreign competitors, it's, it's a, a brother or sisterhood, it's a family. Well, it makes you realize you're not alone and they're not alone. It's making you feel like you're not lost anymore, that you have something to give, that you have something to compete for. I was upset at first that it happened. Uh, I was upset that we were in a position, put into a position uh, where it put us, I guess, in harm's way. <sighs> to be able to get through and recover is to focus and you actually lose focus on the pain that you're, you're experiencing and you're focusing solely on what you're doing so that you don't miss those steps to make every shot perfect. The mentality of security forces is they just, we just press on and we don't want to get pulled down off and put on quarters. We don't want to get pulled away from our jobs. We want to be able to keep going. 